Welcome to an Ash Design trading video on using our new word art stamps. I've created a video that shows you how to make them into brushes so that you can use the word art just as brushes and quickly stamp them, but I also want, you, want to show you how you can use the PNG files and just pull them over into your images. So I have Photoshop open and I have the image that I'm going to use open and then right over here I also have my PNG file. And this is a white image on a transparent background, so it's a little bit difficult to see. But as soon as I pull that image over, we'll be able to see what it looks like. So I just have my arrow tool, and I'm just going to drag it up into my image. And I'm going to drop it right in here. And it fits right in there, so you could resize it, you know, depending on the size of your image. Uh, we don't recommend going a lot larger in size, but you can always go smaller in size. Again, this is white on my dark background and so that works good um, and I'm going to show you just a few things that you can do to adjust this and add a little bit of character to it. The first thing I want to do is come into my effects palette which is this little FX icon right down here and it says add layer style. I just click on that and I can choose any of these options and I really encourage you guys to play with these and find out what works good for you. I'm going to turn some on and some off just to show you what some of the options are. The first thing is the drop shadow. So I'm going to click on drop shadow and you can see once I open up this box it, I can go back and forth through all those options that it gave me before. I'm going to slide this over here so that let me just rearrange some panels a little so you can see everything on your screen. Okay so you can see the image that we're working with and you can see this palette right here and so I have the drop shadow on and, and if you watch the icon when I take the drop shadow off you can see right there how that changes that a little bit and you can increase the drop shadow a little if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic and just add a little bit of depth to that so I'm gonna put mine right there and I'll just show you one more time to take that off and put that on so that's the drop shadow from here I can play with the inner glow, I can play with any of these things. Um, if you wanted to do a different color, you can do this color overlay. Defaults to red, but then all you have to do is just click here and then you can pick a color out of here or you can pick a color with your dropper right out of your image to change the color. My color lay off and my color lay on. Um, you can also do a gradient overlay if I come right to this box. It's doing black and a white gradient overlay, but if I click right in here, I can do the same thing. I can change this color, pick something right out of my image again, and you can see how it's it's the gradient overlay right there, and I'll take that off. That's our white. That's the gradient overlay. So you can just play with all of these different options and find what works for you. For right now, I'm just going to leave the drop shadow on. I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to just scoot this back for a minute. And I'm going to get my palette back over here. Okay, so now that I've got all my pieces back, the other thing I wanted to show you is if you just want to pull in from the back of your image, you can come over here to the fill and just scoot the fill down to like 50%. And you can see how it brought in some of those brown tones from the back. Um, so that's with my fill at 57%. And that's with my fill at 100%. You can also do the same thing with the opacity right here. You can slide the opacity down and it's going to stay white, but just get lighter and lighter and kind of blend into that background. So that's another option for you right there. So that's my opacity at 50%. Um, and I still have the drop shadow on there um, or my opacity up at 100%. And you can also play with this box right here. You can do lighten. Um, which on this white one doesn't do a lot, but on the black ones looks really nice. Um, the overlay, um, I wouldn't use that on this, but again on some of them it looks really nice. Um, a soft light is sometimes good, so if you kind of just want it to, to flow right into there, that's some of your options. So in this particular one, I'm just going to go back to normal, and I'm going to adjust my fill down a little bit. And I'm going to keep my drop shadow on there. And then once you have it how, it, how you like it, um, you can always move it around so it fits into your, oops, wrong layer. Move it around so it fits just where you want it in your image. And then you can just save it out as a JPEG and then either print that or uh, share it online. So that's how our word art stamps work. It's great because you don't have to buy the fonts. You can get 
our inspired words in these beautiful designs without having to worry about purchasing the fonts and you can add them to your images like we did today or you could add them to templates as well um, to put some of these favorite quotes into templates. So we hope you enjoy our new word art stamps and again uh, this is how to use it as the PNG file and we can also show you how to create it to a brush so it's super easy to stamp.